laughing. I mean, both of these guys are, are funny and Eric and I would, would sit there all in, in, in Christmas gear and just sit and talk wrestling. We're both big wrestling fans and you know, we, we, we you know, we both started playing the the who knows more wrestling game and it's funny because it's like we're supposed to be in this christmas environment and here we are talking about, yeah did you see how he slammed him it was crazy and then with tim every time tim and i would hang out we talk about cars and comedy so it was such a great time and it was fun to be around people that i actually admire and and love and have just been such a big fan of for so many years and the, the series itself i mean i remember the movie when it came out uh, i was in high school and so the fact that they found a way to make that movie into a series i thought that was pretty awesome so when they they asked me to uh to join the cast i was i was like yeah absolutely the fact that they brought in a like a character from the past it's always been a moving forward type of thing so the fact that they were able to pull this this character this mad santa that's played by eric and and, and just do this whole twist of like like oh shoot is what is that you know it's like because most of the, the 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 way that it works is something happened to the santa and he's no longer here but it was never a case of like there was a bad one that had to be put locked up and basically santa you know uh, santa jail and went away and never to be found again and the fact that that has resurfaced it's it's such a great twist i really like it That is me in real life, but I think like with anyone, uh, it, you know, everybody can be pushed. Everybody can have an off day. And, uh, you know, fortunately for me, that show was so much fun. And every day, you know, being around Christmas, like that's my favorite holiday. The set was, you were in a world. It never felt like you were on a set because no matter where you look at any time, it's it it is what it is i mean you had to you had to go out of your way to get off the set it's like you 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 entered this world every day and then you had to go out a special door and then now you're back in reality it was just it was a trip i really enjoyed the the first one the first movie that, that came out with him uh i remember him on the treadmill jogging and, and his and his stomach bouncing <laughs> it's just it's a right. random moment from the movie. But for me, like uh, Christmas, Home Alone was a, was a big one for me. I loved Home Alone. Uh, I tell people this one and, and they have to think about it. Gremlins was actually set during Christmas time. And if people are saying that Die Hard was a Christmas movie, I think you got to say that Gremlins was also a Christmas movie because there's, there's Christmas trees, there's snow, you know, the Gremlins are destroying Santa Clauses, those, those, you know, the, 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 the statues. So I'm like, yeah, that had to have been a considered a Christmas movie as well. Uh, favorite wrestler of all time is Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I've had the pleasure of hanging out with him. And and I, my biggest bragging moment is that I got to use his toilet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a that's a feat. That's really a feat. How did that happen? <laughs> I, I did a I did his podcast at his uh, his podcast is uh, was at his home. I don't I think he's since uh, changed that since you know having those issues. But uh, yeah, we were hanging out afterwards, and I'm like, hey, dude, can I uh, can I use your your you know. He's like, all right, go ahead, man. And uh, well, I, mean, yeah. I, won't, I won't ask which. <laughs> <laughs>